Jordan, welcome to MTD CNC again. We always appreciate you. We're sitting in front of the logo, Extended Hydraulics and Machine, but a lot of you guys are known as Extended because there is so much more. You have the fancy suit on. You have the great smile. You have the knowledge and wisdom. What does the future, the potential future, the ideas and the concepts, I know you have patents that you're working on. There's all sorts of creative ideas happening right now at Extended. Can we convey some of that to the audience? Yeah, well, I think it, it's really how far do you want to go at the end of the day. I think there's uh, lots of things that we do that have provided solutions to allow our clients to be a lot more profitable. Um, keeping them active, keeping them pr uh, producing, those are important things to, to our business and really what the brand of Extended represents. So we've always focused on the client success as our success, uh, and that translates into new opportunities for both of us. So I think that's really the way that we go about our relationships. Um, it's who we are as Saskatchewan people, uh, so I think that uh, that's also important to factor in. So when we look at the local supply chain, it's, uh, you know, there's an opportunity here to have solutions that are customized to our environments that we have here, um, but at the same time, we're always looking at uh, making things better, so uh, being early adopters of technology uh, and innovating for uh, any industry. So I think, uh, you know, for us, it's really about how far do you want to take this, um, you know, is really... Uh, you know, the way that we see it as being, uh, you know, a piece of the fabric of the local supply chain, whether it be in oil and gas, agriculture, uh, mining obviously is a big piece of, you know, what our history is. But I think uh, when you look at industry standards, they're changing to really adopt the rigidness that the potash industry has brought to, uh, to, to the market. And when I look outside, Jordan, I see a lot of land out there, so potential for growth. But also, as an outsider coming in, I think to myself as I'm riding with my friends into, into the building today, I'm going, this isn't uh, an industrial park. This isn't in the middle of a city. I wonder what I'm actually going to find here. But you mentioned being innovative and being creative. And when I walked into the facility, I see top-of-the-line Mazak machines. I see full automated cells provided with the partnerships of Aceta and Fanuc. So you are talking about supporting an industry that you value, supporting a local community that you value, and like you said, being able to expand far beyond that based on we have good machines, we have the technical know-how, we have the people who we believe in who also value being here as you support them in every aspect of what they do. So the reason I bring all of that up, all of that technology, all of that space and the questions I had before coming in here is just to acknowledge to the audience right now that when you reach out to Extended, there is potential for good products or great products, quality time leads. You know they're going to get the precision. You know you're going to get the people and the authenticity. Would you agree with all of that and be able to expand on it a little bit more? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, for, for us, it's, you know, when we talk about, you know, having, you know, a lot of space here, like Saskatchewan's a land of opportunity. Um, you know, that's the way that I've always seen it and described it. We have all different types of resources here. So I think the diversity of what, you know, our surroundings have to offer us, you know, really allow us to adapt to any situation. So we're really focused on providing a solution. I, I kind of always go back to, you know, stories that I hear about farmers, like they're out in the field and they have to figure out what they need to get done and they just figure out a way to do it. And, and that requires a lot of innovation. It's a, it's a mindset. And, uh, you know, the people here in Saskatchewan have that. The businesses here in Saska Saskatchewan have that. So, and, and, and nothing's different with Extended. We want to be on the cutting edge of innovation. So we want to be early adopters of, of innovative products that help us get our materials out to uh, either the local uh, supply chain or even to the world. So uh, for us, it's to be on top of automation because it continues to make us better. And I think that's really what, uh, what we're focused on. It allows us to be a lot more efficient for our clients. Uh, allows us to be a lot more competitive. And when we talk about onshoring a lot of, uh, uh, you know, products and, and manufacturing, well, we want to be able to have a facility that supports the competitiveness or what the perceived competitiveness of that is. So with logistics changing, with, uh, you know, COVID happening, I think there's, uh, you know, a lot of focus now back on the local supply chain and how they're able to 
offer value. So the fact that as a business, we've continued to reinvest in ourselves and our people throughout that period of time has really put us in a position to now be on the cutting edge of innovation as we look at Saskatchewan and how it's adapting to the growth that we're going to see in the next, uh, you know, five to ten years. So I think for us, uh, you know, is really about uh, not only positioning us for to do things that we've done in the past better, like what our history has showed that we've always wanted to continue to do better, uh, you know, provide for our clients and make them better. But as we expand and diversify our marketplace is really uh, around being on the cutting edge of those things. So I think, uh, you know, a lot of these, uh, the new automation pieces and even the robotics put us in a position to, uh, you know, have defined accuracy and a lot of these things that uh, new industries are going to require of us. So uh, not only makes us better at what we were doing, it's going to make us great at the things that we want to do. I think if I'm on the outside looking in right now and I'm listening to the story that Robert gave and I've listened to the story that you're giving as well, Jordan, something that, that <clears throat> kind of pops out to me is the word trust. When we work with somebody new, we have to trust that they're going to be good. And if I'm going to look at the camera right now personally and go, look, a machine shop that works in one of the most difficult environments on the planet, mining some of the most difficult materials, and has patented and created chips that survive and can make it through this, along with the precision and accuracy and necessities needed to successfully be a global leader in this piece of the market. Why wouldn't I trust them to make more parts for me moving forward if there's shops out there right now going, well, we need some help. Who can we rely on? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, proof is in the pudding at the end of the day. So the fact that we've, you know, we're on our 10-year anniversary and we've been doing this for, for a long time and, uh, you know, we've built trust with some of the biggest players in the market, I think, uh, you know, that provides the opportunity for expansion into other other mines or even other uh, uh, sectors of business um, as they look to expand and uh, increase the reliability and durability of their facilities. You know, we have to understand that a lot of these are custom built solutions for very severe service and, uh, you know, mining is just, uh, you know, one particular instance of, of a lot of that. So when we look at other sectors, it's, it's no different with, with the team, like the team that we have here. Uh, we're always going to take that uh, best-in-class approach and really focus on, well, why are these things failing? Uh, what can we do better? How can we prevent? And really tracking that. So when we talked about the RFID system is having real data at our hands that allows us to make decisions to really provide that best-in-class service. So we're really focused on that. We're going to continue to do that great. And, uh, you know, we have the team and the foundation here that's able to really, uh, um, you know, really provide that, when you talk about trust, but reliability, I think that's really uh, the key for us is that when you phone us, you're getting gr good responses, um, not just a quick response, but you're getting a response that uh, ultimately you can take back and, uh, and think about. And I think that's important because uh, when, when, when you look at your supply chain uh, or what you're, you're trying to achieve at your facility, are, are you doing it the best that you possibly could, or are there other options out there? And I think that's really what the mentality uh, here at Extended is. I like that very much. Now, we're going to close this thing out, and I always want to be sure when I do these interviews, Jordan, that I provide you ample opportunity for any messages that you want to convey to an audience that I've failed to ask you. You know, so I want to leave this moment open. If there's a thought that you have, an idea, a concept, a message from Extended, whatever it is that you'd like to share with the audience right now to close this whole thing out, I'm going to leave the floor to you, and it's all yours, my friend. Great, yeah. So I think that the biggest thing is is that when people and organizations, especially here in Canada, look at Indigenous business, they think less than. But, you know, everything that we have built in this shop and the types of people that we have in this, uh, this shop, uh, we're at the cutting edge of innovation. I think that's really important uh, when we look at how good business is done. We just happen to be Indigenous. We happen to uh, employ a certain demographic and have really good programs in place. Those are pieces in your supply chain that you can leverage with an organization that has built trust and reliability in industry uh, with great products. So uh, one thing that you know I would say is uh, there's you know we're, we can do more than just uh, just trades. We're technology providers, 
you know, we're, we're skilled people that can be integrated into any organization. And I think, uh, you know, when, when we talk about innovation, Indigenous people can be on the cutting edge of innovation here in the country. So that's what's exciting about our company. That's what we're excited not only to share here in the province, across the country, but even globally is the, the story that we have and uh, that we want everybody to participate in. Jordan, if my microphones were a little less expensive, I would ask you to drop it right now because that was a mic drop, but please don't do that. For all of you watching right now, you can look up Extended at E-T-E-N-D-E-D dot -E -E C-A. That is their website. Give them a shout anytime. This is my buddy Jordan. You heard from Robert earlier. So much technology. And uh, let us know if you do because this is a great company, and I would love to hear your feedback as well. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you again soon.